Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create a JUnit 5 test using NetBeans. Um, I have my project up and running. <clears throat> you see I've got a basic Maven project in, Visual, in NetBeans, excuse me. Um, I've got a very simple class here uh, and I want to write a test for this. I don't care about what's in the main because I want to test my class this time. So I'm going to go to Tools, I'm going to Create Update Tests, and you can choose as much as you want here. Um, if you leave it alone, you have to write everything by hand. If you check on like public protected, it'll automatically write a test for each one of those. So I'm going to check on public. I'm going to leave it blank so you see what you get. Hit OK. And you get this. Not a lot going on here. We see the at test annotation. We see that Jupyter is installed. So I want to write a test. And it says public void test a method. Um, the suggestion to name your test is the name which you're testing. So I'm going to change this from test to be test Adam. Now Adam is a really stupid function. It assumes you have a variable instantiated, and then you call that variable and pass an A and B, and it returns back the sum of A and B. So instantiate it. I need expected variables, I don't need an actual variable. So I'm going to pass in 1 and 2 into my test. I'm going to expect back 3 when I add those. So I'll do so I'm passing one and two, one plus two better be three, and then I'll test it. Assert equals in J unit five once the expected first, the actual seconds, and then if you wish to have a message, put a message in here. The message is optional because if you name your test while well, you really don't need it. So on right click on the test file. And my test passed. Not a surprise. Let's make it fail. Right click test file. Here's my message. Adam does not work correctly. Expected four, but was three. If I don't pass a message in, test Adam failed. So if you name your test well, you don't need a message. Um, now I want to point out a glitch. I'm pretty sure it's a glitch with, with NetBeans. If you want something to run before everything, the annotation is before class. Actually, no, it's not. It's before all. There we go. Before all. Quite often, if you're going to use a variable throughout your test, it makes sense to declare it globally. And then instantiate it here. And that avoids having to do this line of code. So it's test gets instantiated inside of a simple class. Let's see what happens. So we have an issue. Test is null. 
Now, what's supposed to have occurred was this setup test was supposed to have run prior to test atom, but it didn't. It's nothing I did wrong. It's a problem with NetBeans. So I need to add something to my palm. Um, NetBeans needs to use the Surefire engine in order to run this before all. It's not. So I need to add that in. So I'm going to get a plugin. And that plugin is Maven Surefire plugin version 2.19.1. It's not the most recent version, but it's the version that works. So I'm sticking with it. And then this information. You can get this from Maven dependency. Just make sure you put in the plugin, not as a dependency. When you save, go back here and run. It's quite possible you'll see the Maven downloading a bunch of stuff here in the background. And how it runs. Beautiful. Alright, thanks guys. Good luck.